All right, I am in the shop. Uh, slept like crap. Now I feel like crap. So this is uh, Donald's. So far, not done. I mean, I just now got the the basic uh, sanding done on the belt grinder. Now I got to do it all by hand. And uh, the way I darken the spine is with gun blue. Okay, uh, I'm gonna uh, set that to the side for a minute, and I'm sanding these. This, that's 320. I'm gonna get this up to 320, and that uh, uh, marks up to 320. Let me. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I feel so bad. Uh, my, uh, who wants to hear about other people's pains? <laughs> but I'm going to tell you anyway. My hip, my knee, and my foot hurt so bad, uh, it's making me sick to my stomach. I think I'm going to puke. And it's been like this for a couple of weeks now. But on a lighter note, I am definitely a uh, combat abrasives sales affiliate. And, uh, their end is done. I got to get on my computer and do some stuff on my end. And when I start putting links in the description, uh, I may get one in the description of this. It depends how I feel when I get back home. Uh, what will happen is you get 10% off if you buy uh, anything at Combat Abrasives through my link. You get 10% off. And... Uh, if you just want to go there and use my coupon code, my coupon code is BC Blades, and you still get 10% off. So there's that. And uh, I cleared off a place. I'm going to get a banner. I hope it's not too big. And I'm going to put it right there. And I'll mention it. I won't wear people out just like I don't wear people out about my Amazon link. But, uh, and, and I, I doubt I have a lot of people that watch my videos that are actual knife makers. Probably, you know, a handful. So I don't expect to become a, a uh, sandpaper selling tycoon. And the only reason I am going to basically represent them is because I've tried dozens of other brands and combat abrasives is without a doubt hands down the best bang for the buck uh they've got ceramic belts they've got a belt called the shredder which is all the rage on the blade forms i don't use it because uh, it's expensive and if i was making blades at a you know on a massive scale i probably would but i need to keep my costs way down because there's virtually zero profit in my my type of knife making i'm not a you know this isn't a job it's a hobby so anyway, if uh, you want some <clears throat> belts or, you know, they sell sandpaper, they sell uh, flap discs, uh, they have a, a, a two-part epoxy called Rogue. I haven't tried it. I probably will try it uh, soon, but at this very moment, they're sold out. You know how everything is right now. It's hard to get anything shipped. So there's that. I'm uh, officially a combat abrasives sales affiliate. And, uh, you know, just a, a little tiny income stream here and a little tiny income stream there, and it all puts a few pennies in your pocket. And pretty much everything I make from knife making or my Amazon link goes back into the shop. Okay, let me get the sand. Well, Anne said she would buy this if I made it a mini swamp rat. So that's what I did. And you know, it's not going to look bad. Now, I, I got to grind the, the bevel on the end of it. So uh, I'm going to do that right now. I just bought... I think I already mentioned that, so I won't say. I just bought a bunch of belts. I bought four ceramic 6x48 belts for this here uh 75 bucks and i bought for the 2x42 about 80 dollars worth of 
ceramic belts. And for the 1x42, about about the same of ceramic belts. So, yeah, let's see. Uh, almost 200 with shipping and 75 So, a little under $300 worth of belts. Can you believe it, man? Ha, you got to do it. You got to do what you got to do to make knives. So, all right, let me, uh, I'm going to put this on the grinder and uh, see if I can match that bevel there. It don't take long to rust out here. I just stopped working on this yesterday, or yesterday, the day before, and look at all the rust. And it does this until I get it up to heat treated and then cleaned up and then buffed, and then it stops rusting. But it is damp, damp, damp out here. Plus, we had a huge storm overnight. Oh, yeah, got his, uh, I'm all cleaned up in here. Did you notice how immaculate it is? I mopped the floor. Everything's clean. His uh, bedding is all fresh and clean. Are you talking about me? Stop talking about me. All right, I'm going to put that on the belt grinder and see what I can make it look like. Well, there we go. Swamp Mouse. Okay, I'm going to set that to the side. Right now I'm working on this up to, uh, I'm, at, I'm starting on 400. I'm going to get these three sanded up to 400. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get to this today. That's looking good though. All right. So, I think what I'm going to do, drink me a cup of coffee. Still feel like crap. I'm going to drink a cup of coffee and see if I can stay out here a little, little longer. I may even turn the air down. That might make me feel a little bit better. Alrighty. Let me go get some coffee. See, this is the, one of the weird things that happen to as you get old. Nobody's freaking eyebrows should be that long. Nobody's. Good God! I could comb it up over my bald head. Jeez. And and then there's the ear hair. Should we even talk about ear hair? What happens? It's like your head suddenly tipped upside down. You know, the hair comes off the top of your head and it starts popping out in your ears, your nose, and your eyebrows grow out into these little bushy, crazy-looking... Uh, looks like you're, uh, you know, wearing a toupee above your eyes. God. All right. This is uh, the one that had the bright, the crack. And uh, I've got it looking pretty good. And this, uh, Anne wanted this. Anne, Bear for Freedom. And uh, she was interested in it if I did it this way. So that's why I went with the uh, Swamp Rat Curve. And uh, it's not so terribly different. I like it. I like it. And uh, I think I'm going to take the Swamp Rat sheath, trace it out, and then knock about an inch and a half off on the end because that's what I cut off about an inch and a half off of it. So uh, even the sheath pattern will work for this. I just need to make it a little bit shorter. Okay, I have this sanded up to 150. I'm fixing to go. I'm fixing to bring this up to all these. This, this, and that one are uh, sanded up to 400. And I'm starting on 500 on all these, but I'm going to get this up to that point and bring it along with these uh, three knives. I'm not sure I'm going to get this today. Um, I may work on this tomorrow because. I got I mean, it's to the point now where I really have to concentrate on this, and I can't do a whole bunch of other stuff. So, if I get these up to five and then six, all these today, uh, they'll be ready to go to eight hundred, and then buff them all, and then heat treat them all, and basically start all over, cleaning them up with a wire wheel and all that. Uh, so, I will do this tomorrow. And uh, 
I'm looking forward to it. I'm liking the looks of that desert ironwood. I just love the desert ironwood. There's some very, very hard wood, hard to sand, hard to cut. But boy, when it's done and you buff it out, it is some pretty, pretty wood. Look at the grain. I just love that stuff. Oh, Lordy. I'm not even sure I'm going to get these up to 600 today. I am tired, tired, tired. I didn't sleep worth a crap last night, and I got up super early because I just couldn't lay in the bed anymore. I hurt so much. So, I think I'm going to do a little more sanding on this. Do, uh, do another cup of coffee, and then see if I can't get this at least up to 400 like these are. I may, that may be all I do today. I forgot to tell you how my day started. First of all, I already told you, uh, I was hurting all night, couldn't sleep, woke up, hurting so bad I feel a little sick. And, uh, you know, it's 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning, it's really dark in the house, and I walk into the kitchen, and I step on something with both feet, and I almost fall because my feet come out from underneath me. I grabbed a hold of the counter. And poor Lucy. Now, and our dogs have... Now, I'm not going to say never, ever, but I could probably, in, you know, 20, 30 years of having dogs, we probably had them only go to the bathroom in the house once or twice or three times. Anyway, Lucy must have ate something that she just could not hold in her. And uh, I won't be many more... I won't be any more graphic than that, but I was the lucky one that got to step in it. And, uh, you know, she was whining to get out, and we got up and let her out as early as we could. And so she tried letting us know. We just ignored her because we were sound asleep. So that was how my day started. So my wife threw a towel on the floor, and I stepped on the towel <laughs> and wiped my feet as good as I could. And then I went and I sat on the edge of the bathtub with my feet in the bathtub and gave my feet a good scrubbing. Oh yeah, right up between my toes. I mean, it was wonderful. So while I was cleaning my feet off, my wife had the, uh, the, uh, the best job of uh, cleaning the other up. And uh, I don't know what the heck she ate, but sweet mother of God, it, it stunk so bad. Uh, I still do. I cannot imagine. It's not the food that we feed her, so we're thinking that she ate something out here, and uh, might have gotten sick. Charlie said that she saw her eating a uh, cicada the other day, which, you know, I don't think a cicada or two would hurt her. It's protein. Uh, there are other animals that eat cicadas. But maybe she ate a whole bunch of them. I don't know. But uh, it was a very unpleasant morning. Okay, that was how my day started. I thought I'd share that with you. Long day. I don't even know what time it is, but uh, it's probably 3.30, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. All right, we are sanded up to 800. All that one. That's Jay's. This is Mystery Buyer. This is uh, uh, Mark. This is Ann. What do you think of that? That little knife come out, come out just fine. And uh, she's gonna get dark walnut with stainless pins. And this is Donald's. I like the desert ironwood. Desert ironwood is my favorite wood, hands down. What I'm gonna do now, I have a, a gun gluing pen, and I'm gonna blue the spine all the way around this. Uh, usually on these darkened, I have no choice but to leave the spine shiny. And the reason is, Everything I've used to darken the spine 
screws up the wood. But what I have now is a, a, a perma blue pen. It's got a little like a uh, magic marker tip on it, you know. And uh, if that works, that's that will solve my problem. And you can't help but uh, sand the uh, finish off because you know I got to sand the wood and everything. So that's what we look like. I'm going to take this home and uh, try the pen on it, see what it looks like. All right, tomorrow I heat treat and temper all of these and uh, I'll start cleaning them up. I'm gonna start heat treating them first thing in the morning and we'll see about this. Uh, I think he probably, I got everything he told me he wanted, I got wrote down in here. So before I can make any sheaths, I gotta go to town and get some leather. Actually, I have enough for probably three sheets if I don't screw anything up. Okay, see you tomorrow. Well, I thought I was going home, and it's later than I thought it was. It's uh, about quarter after four. Anyway, uh, I'm waiting on someone to decide what color they want their sheath. And this is the reason I'm narrowing down my colors, because they're so similar this is three different browns, and I mean, you gotta really look. I gotta look, I gotta light right over them, you know? You gotta really look close. Let me turn the light completely off. I mean, they all look, this looks different, but uh, it's just not enough. Plus, it's really, the, the dye is really expensive. All right, my wife just texted me. She said, Sonny is on the phone calling Dog Protection Services because I'm 15 minutes late with her supper. I better go or I'll get fired. And the person I'm talking about, what color they want, just uh, texted me too. Chocolate, chocolate. Okay, that's this one. Okay. All right, that's, that's the one. All right, see you tomorrow. I'm going on. Well, that was it. All right, that's the solution to that problem. Okay, this is ready for a sheath.